Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're taking a look at do you need a personal firewall now windows 10 does come with its own built-in firewall which basically is half a firewall it doesn't really give you permissions to accept or decline things that are coming into your computer it deals with all that itself and as you can see here it's pretty basic you can do some sort of filtering with it where you can block certain things and open certain ports but that's just about it with the standard Windows firewall. So I class it as half a firewall really because it doesn't really give you vast amounts of control of Windows itself. Now it's up to you whether you use a firewall or not and whether you're happy just to use the built-in Windows firewall, but personally I prefer to use a firewall because it gives me more control of port protection, program control and other types of security. So you can see here there is a Windows firewall notifier which is another add-on which you can add in now this isn't an actual firewall itself it's a piece of software that gives you a bit more control and shows you a bit more about the built-in windows firewall feature so you can actually use this and get a little bit more information from it now this is a third party add-on it's not an actual firewall itself and an installation file it's an actual uh, program that is comes in a folder which you have to put in the actual programs area inside here so I'm going to go into C drive program files and you can drop it inside here you can create a new folder in here and you need to call it a certain name and it will give you uh, the actual access to those features inside here there is a readme file which tells you exactly what to do and how to do it and what it's used for it's normally um, inside the console area inside here and you've got the readme inside here you can uh, read all that information it tells you what to do and it says there's a program folder called windows firewall notifier that's what you need to call the folder and then just copy all the contents of that folder into that folder that you're going to rename so let me just quickly rename this folder and drop all the contents in and i'll fire it up and just show you what it looks like so you can see there we go that's all done i'll just drop this contents inside there now and that's basically what it's going to look like it's uh, just like a firewall application you can see you've got all your menu here you've got your connections this is all the connections that are going in and out of your computer it will give you all the information there you've got a map which tells you the location here and you've got a bunch of other uh, stuff on there as well which you can see I'm not going to spend too much time on it I just wanted to show you how it works it will give you the information there now there's also some other bits like bandwidth as well this will just give you all the bandwidth and show you exactly what's hogging your bandwidth so it's quite useful for that particular type of thing gives you active connections on your computer and it will show you what's going in and out and what is using all the bandwidth which is basically your internet so which is using all of that and which is using all your resources so if you're a gamer it's pretty useful for that type of stuff as well you've also got adapters here and you can see that gives you information about the adapters that's the ethernet and you can see here we've got bluetooth on there as well you've also got firewall settings you can mess around with the firewall settings from inside here you've also got firewall rules and also the security logs here there's also some options available to you so you can see it gives you a bit more scope uh, to mess around with with that windows firewall now again you can use other third party uh, firewall software that you don't have to do a lot of work about setting up you just go ahead and install it and as you can see here this is glasswire very good firewall gives you really good information shows you exactly what is happening on your uh, network and on your computer you can see what's going in and out of your computer and you can block certain stuff as well which is very useful so if you've got a program that's been a bit pesky and it's trying to uh, go out all the time onto the internet and call home you can basically just block that application and you can also um, detect malware that is going in and out of your computer sending signals in and out of your computer because you can monitor everything that is connecting in and out so your traffic type your hosts your apps name this will all be listed here you would see malware listed in here or any sort of other type of uh, malware the good thing about this firewall is it does give you a lot more control you can see the info the hosts and the alerts you can see other information here gives you a full blow for blow exactly what it is and uh, you can also block things from here and you can also send it out to virus total you can see here we've got timings 
as well and uh, we've also got firewall this is all your firewall information and you can see this pro processes down there applications and also a virus total so if you wanted to you can open this up let me just show you how this works so we've got it set to click to block so when you click on this or double click on it it will block it like so and you can see that's now gone into the blocked apps area you can get information on that blocked app so if it was malicious you can uh, check that there and you can see we've got it set to that so it's very easy to uh, do whatever you like I'll do one more here just to quickly show you, you can also click on this block app here down the bottom you've also got virus total here which means you can set it up and even send that request to a uh, virus total to make sure that that file is of uh, a good nature so it's not a bad file or it's not a virus or anything like that you can send that up and enable it and it says automatically and that analyze these apps so it's very very useful once you've got that set up and to block it you can just click on the block app you can see the path here it gives you the path some good information here and again this is just one piece of software there's loads of them out there you can use and you can choose which one suits your needs you can also get antivirus programs with built-in firewalls which i never really like to use i prefer to use a separate firewall with an antivirus program but that's entirely up to you what you do now again you can choose whatever firewall software you like to use whether you like to use one with an antivirus or whether you like to use a separate uh, firewall software it's entirely up to you what it's going to do is give you a lot more control over programs that are on your computer what they're trying to do whether they're going in or out um, sending information in or out also other processes and stuff like that you can get a good idea of what's actually using your network bandwidth and what's going on on your computer so it gives you a lot more control on ports and programs so depending whether you want to do that or not or whether you just don't care if you don't care then continue to use Windows Firewall which doesn't really do too much it just does it all for you and of course it's very easy for malware to just slip on through the computer whereas if you've got a firewall and something drops onto the system automatically it's going to want to know the firewall is going to want to know what that process is trying to do and you can see it visibly on the screen and go well, I don't like that and you can block it and nine times out of ten it will pretty much stop that uh, malware from doing its damage to the system so that's the reason why and I've made videos showing people how that works so it's a really useful uh, piece of uh, software to have on the computer as another line of uh, layer of security which is what I use it for now of course you're going to get the people that say you don't need a firewall and you don't need an antivirus program because I've never used an antivirus program or a firewall and I've never been infected well those people are dumb and don't listen to them because they don't know what they're talking about you know this is 2020 ransomware and malware is still alive and kicking and it will still catch you out one day and if you're not protected you're just going to end up losing all your data so make regular backups and use uh, proper security and you should be perfectly fine you can see here I'm just blocking one of these um, applications here just to show you how this works so I'll block um, edge and I'll just block another version of edge here so when I open up the browser it won't work so let me just block the web platform uh, for edge and we'll just quickly block this one here deny that access and click OK and this will be what you'd be using it for if it was malicious you can see it can't go out and it can't do anything because we've blocked it uh, and it'll just close the web browser down so you have to be careful what you're blocking and what you're not blocking because if you block something that is useful and what you need it won't work okay so that's basically how they work it's very simple but it's a really effective way of protecting you against uh, malicious software and malware and other types of uh, stuff like that anyway that's going to be about it for this video you can choose whether you want to use a firewall or not personally i think they're awesome they give you good network security and also it lets you monitor and get full intrusion detection on your system so as soon as something drops on there that's malicious you will know about it because your firewall will alert you and say do you want to give this permission to run so it does protect you and it also has a bit of um, ransomware protection on there as well uh, so it's pretty good for that sort of stuff now they do have a free version of zone alarm as well you can see there's plenty of uh, tweaking you can do with zone alarm and they've all got their own features some like certain programs better than others it's not to say that they're right and i'm wrong or i'm right and they're wrong it's entirely up to you what program you use and what you like in which way you want to do it. you can see it disables 
Windows uh, firewall because it doesn't need it. It's using their firewall, which is a much more better, stronger firewall than Windows firewall, in my personal opinion. You can make it stronger if you want to or keep it at medium settings, depending on what you like. I have mine set to maximum settings and that way it will nag me every single time that when I go to install something it will nag me. Yes, it does learn and it does get a bit more intelligent with as time goes on, but it just gives me much more control over what I'm installing and what I'm doing on my computer. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.